Tom Fox, staff photographer Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones, right, reacts to outside linebacker Leighton Van Der Ash, 55, didn't get up following a hard hit to Atlanta Falcons wide receiver Julio Jones, 11, in the third quarter at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Sunday, November 18, 2018. The Cowboys pulled out of 22-19 win. Tom Fox, the Dallas Morning News, one of the most important weeks of the NFL offseason is upon us. The annual scouting combine in Indianapolis begins Wednesday. For about five days, the majority of front office personnel from around the league will be somewhere near Lucas Oil Stadium during the day and steakhouses like Street. Elmo or Prime 47 at night. Although this event focuses on the NFL draft, much more than prospect evaluation will be taking place. Not having a first-round pick reduces the intrigue for Cowboys fans, but plenty of noteworthy decisions could be made 900 miles northeast of Dallas. As a preview, here are three things the Cowboys should be trying to accomplish this week in Indy.1. Make progress in negotiations to re-sign their own players The names are well known. It begins with defensive end Demarcus Lawrence and then continues with quarterback Dak Prescott, wide receiver Amari Cooper, running back Ezekiel Elliott and cornerback Byron Jones. Those five sit atop the list of long-term deals the Cowboys would like to get done, if possible. Lawrence is the only one not under contract for the upcoming season. The deadline to designate the franchise tag is March 5th. Lawrence does not want to play under the tag for a second consecutive season. The Cowboys have no plans to let him hit free agency. If a deal isn't reached by March 5th, they'll apply the tag and then have until July 15th to work out a multi-year contract that would pay the two-time pro bowler more than $20 million annually. Negotiations could heat up this week. Since the top draft prospects are in town, so are most agents and those agents represent players already in the league. And if nothing is finalized in Indianapolis, meaningful talks can take place. Point two. Find prospects who can make immediate impacts. The Cowboys have six picks in April's draft. Their first round selection was sent to Oakland in exchange for Cooper, which turned out to be an outstanding trade by Dallas. But to get immediate impact, it will likely have to come via the Cowboys' second and third round picks. Some bargains can be found in the later rounds, but it's imperative that Dallas hits on those first two selections, nose. 58 and 90 overall. The Cowboys have been known to take risks with their second round selections. They've gone after players with first round talent who have fallen because of injury concerns or off-field issues. That's an even bigger risk when drafting without a first-round pick. The key areas of need start with tight end and safety. A little further down the line are defensive tackle, wide receiver and running back. One or two of those positions could be addressed in free agency, but the better bargains and chance of greater upside are found in the draft. Point three. Make a serious run at Earl Thomas as long as the Cowboys believe Thomas can return to the player he was before suffering a season-ending broken leg last September, he's the type of free agent addition that could instantly take their defense from very good to elite. There has been significant interest from both sides. The Cowboys attempted to trade a second-round pick to Seattle last year to acquire Thomas. The six-time Pro Bowl safety stunned reporters when he showed up outside Dallas locker room after the Seahawks defeated the Cowboys in Week 16 of the 2017 season. Thomas then told Cowboys coach Jason Garrett to come get him if they ever had the chance. Well, they now have the chance. Thomas, 29, isn't going to come cheap. His last deal paid him $10 million per year, and the top safeties in the league are making between $10 million and $13 million annually. But this is the type of move Jerry Jones loves and one that could make the Cowboys a legitimate Super Bowl contender. The free agency period doesn't begin until 3 p.m. March 13, teams aren't supposed to officially enter into negotiations with agents of unrestricted free agents until March 11. But Thomas will probably have a good idea of where he's signing by the end of the combine. 
Twitter at Jen Machoda.